Okay, 15 term. Let's see how we get on here. Any lessons learned from the previous rapids? Oh, let's just attack the king. Keep it all simple, straightforward, and capture. Castle. These latest uh, batch of uh, rapid games uh, with the narrative inside the games in game analysis are all an offshoot of basically the you know the tutorials that we've done over the years from 2020 onwards just to see if we're keeping our hand in see if we can try things new differently I'm gonna hit the pawn here So attack on the centre, piece for a piece, and I think it is the Queen's turn to take, but I'm going to take with the Knight. Knight's out, it's attacking this pawn here, so I'll just develop our Knight and support. Going for a small move here, there's nothing attacking. I suppose he's defending this area because we've got two knights jumping, looking to potentially jump around here. But we're going to x ray through to their queen. Okay, so that's um, okay. Could look to do something like this, that might be too extravagant. Queen's always looking for. Always looking for the B pawn. Do to do, do. What to do? What to do? Let's bring the rook in. Potentially just castling now. Ooh, not for the B pawn today, it's coming for the knight, is he? Is he x ray through? Lots of izzies there, what's the deal with that move? Or is he just protecting the pawn because the knight's gonna move and... Is there something that we have? None of that? No. Not really attacking there anyway, because the knight's protecting there as well. Do, 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 do. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Could love to double up attacking this pawn, couldn't he as well? Are we overthinking this? What's this knight really doing here? Let's just bring this knight back around. Excellent. So options, doing takes. Not so good an option really, is it? And night here, night here. Doesn't seem to be an awful lot going on. I can see a doubling of this, but I'm going to bring the knight across. It's obviously going to take here, and we can take the bishop for free if he does that. So we had a presence in the centre but nothing was actually happening so we're giving our king some company 
looking to bring the knight across here if need be, but probably going to do something to disturb the rhythm. I think the rap the rapid games are worse than the long play games because you think that you've got a lot of time in the rapid game and it feels like it's taking forever, you know, with the opponent making the moves. But the time does eke down, even though you've got 10 second increment, um, it does eke down eventually. So there are different sort of strategies that you have to use for each of the games. So we're going to continue with the movement, bringing the knight across here, giving our king some company. Because as we said, nothing's happening here, so they need to overextend or something um, to give us something to work with. So hoping, fingers crossed, we've not done too bad. Can I expect this probably just to say, what are you doing, Bishop? <laughs> Is that <laughs> uh, Isn't that brilliant? I'm not really a fan of actually taking here. The Bishop takes and he's got diagonals and stuff. We can block that, which will be okay for us. But then obviously the knight can take as well. So, could bring it back here, but that would be the worst thing we could do because it, the bishop's just going to get trapped. Definitely has nowhere to go. So bringing it back, I think, to here seems appropriate. Yeah. So now our king has got company. His pieces have inched away a little bit from their king, but they're still there. Looks like they're risk averse to actually attacking. So maybe this pawn he takes, maybe. And the knight is down attacking the bishop. Interesting. So it's knee jerk reaction, then he comes down. But we can't do anything with that, so I'm not going to do that. Could allow them to have the bishop, I'm not going to lose any sleep. Could bring the bishop here, sit it here, nice diagonal. Looks like it's going to get harassed all the way through the game. But I am going to bring it back here. getting a picture and feel for this player in terms of their risk averseness he's making a space now for the bishop potentially coming and attacking here like we said we can just um, nail that off does block our bishop a bit now it's got no protection so we could do a merry dance and see if we get away with it Gone back up. Like I said, this player is kind of risk averse to pushing forward. Can't do this. We've got one, two. He's got one, two, three. So we do have this, but we're not going to touch that just yet at all. Gonna bring the bishop here. Like I said, nice diagonal. It's probably gonna be saying, no, you're not getting in there, I'm just blocking off. But they're risk averse to moving their pieces forward, so it's um probably knight coming around just to make it feel like it's doing something. If they're taking a chance then it's probably gonna be this pawn. But for blocking it's going to be this or it might just be nothing at all it might even just move the king backwards and forwards which one's it going to be
none of the above. Okay, so potentially looking to try and squish the bishop. Bring the queen here, he drops. Bring the rook here. Drops his pawn. He's ready to try and track the bishop. So I'm doing. Where's my king? He's nice and safe. Rook, rook, rook. Uh, queen, get the queen off the back. Give the bishop some space. Do like this position though. I like this position because of this pawn. Just gonna bring it off the back a little bit. Maybe look to double here. It kind of keeps a bit of pressure on this pawn whilst they're dropping here to come and get the bishop. So we can push, but then he can push down, simple as. So we can push one, and then if he does go, then we can take takes and such and such. Okay, so we'll just go a small push with the pawn here. So risk averse to actually moving his main pieces, which again from my experience it's hopefully showing that um, maybe they just don't know what to do with their pieces and how to work them together as a team. So this is why they're doing these single type little pawn push things on this side here. So hopefully we can try and make that work for us. Because whilst they're doing this they're not developing any other pieces. It's going to take, so a nice single attack there, pawn takes, so at this moment in time the bishop could take but the queen would take back, now he's got space for his rooks to come and attack our queen, we have space to actually attack here but he's got two pieces there already, so you'd think this rook would be the one that's coming to attack. And like we're hoping, he doesn't really know how to work his pieces together. That's that's the thought process that we're going with. I'm going to give the bishop a little bit of space then. I think this is the way to go. So if he drops, pawn takes, pawn takes. Let's stay on this side here. I'm going to stay on the here. So we've got this, but also protecting this pawn for when the bishop moves, maybe. So their whole focal point is on this, this, this type thing. Who's gonna own the file? We know that is a key thing for the rooks owning the files. What, eh? Totally risk averse to working the pieces together. We've got to be able to capitalize on this. Because this pawn is not protected. If we swing and take the pawn just to get it out of the way, one of the rooks obviously comes to attack. Bishop's protecting this pawn can bring the queen back again, can't we? Or am I, am I missing a sacrifice of some sort? You can never tell with these types of players, but I'm hoping that my assessment of what I'm seeing is that They are struggling working the pieces together to fight. I mean, they should have been owning this file here, surely. 
with you know with the rooks that's what I was expecting everybody works differently I and mean, we've got this here he's got the knight on here he might be getting that back not sure he's just making space for his king isn't he although he had already had space okay so the bishop is defending the pawn twice I'm going to bring the rook into the file now. Nothing's clear still, so it could go very wrong. Can't get to that bishop though, really. So, potential for maybe doubling. It's easily defended, brings his rooks across. Do have a bit of a attempt at strangling this pawn a little bit. At least time wise we're around about the same, you know, move for the moves, which is that's quite okay. Now it's moved. Was no, it's not wasn't protecting there, was it? What was the plan? Double him up on this bishop. Am I trapping the bishop if I go here? Am I trapping my queen if I go there? Gotta be careful. I need to give them some space. If we go here. What's this sly bishop doing? Where's this knight going? It can go here because I can't take it. So then is it attacking? I'm going to go for the doubling and see if that's going to work. Put a bit of pressure on there and if that knight is still there then we've got three, three on there if we get this rook here. Thing is the bit oh is attacking now oh, I do have space to be able to move back so and the bishop is protecting that pawn so we have that already sorted has anything changed in terms of attacking their queen not really not really no so we're not gonna have the three on the knight now so we'll just have the two on the bishop, but his rook's going to come down and defend there. Is there something else? Oh, I can't even go there. His knight's come back and defended this pawn. Can't attack his queen. Can bring the queen here. We've still got the two on there. I think that's probably nicer, but then also his knight can come and attack our queen. We can pin through to his queen if he does that. Okay, let's bring it here. And if he does come onto the queen anyway, silly, I can just take the bishop here. We're trying to compound pressure onto the target areas that we're focusing on a little bit at a time. Mainly because the opponent <clears throat> appear to be a bit slow out of the gate in terms of developing their pieces or developing initiative. So it wasn't that we had anything to think about. 
so we're trying to develop on that fact of them doing a lot of defense work so he is coming blocking here so if we do go here then his knight is definitely going to come and attack the queen so we're not going to be able to take the bishop because the rook is there so we know this it's on a dark square it's so tempting but this pawn is just blocking everything continue as is because it is pressure and the knight comes we can x rear through to their queen it's nothing meaty but it's um Attempting to go for the initiative, we're driving at the minute. Yeah, so he does go for that, and um, we did we did say that. And I'm just going to bring the X-ray through to their queen. And then the old knight needs to think about what he's doing. I don't think there's many places he can come here. There, but he's got that, and he's got that and then he's got the queen as well so that might not happen so it might be a case of if it does come here then getting this pawn pushed up then that there that's all too slow though so he would probably come down and marry those up smaller piece attacking a higher piece that might dishevel a few little feathers might it It's not having the x-ray, it's doing a lot of defence work. It's doing a lot of defence work. So his knight can take anything. So if we leave the queen there, his knight can take anything. Um, because his rook is on our queen. So we could move the queen to the side. Could take the bishop with the rook. If the rook takes, take with the rook, queen takes, that's not very pretty though is it? Okay, um, boom, 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 boom. if we come here, then we're leaning on this pawn, but then he's still got his queen there as well. I think if we go there, he's going to bring this rook there this time. But I suppose if he does that, then we can take. So I think if we go there, he's just going to bring the rook. He brings the rook. There's no space down here. No space here. So there's probably no point in doing that manoeuvre. Could still continue with the pawn push. But like we said, the knight can just go, he could actually just take this pawn. Although we just take it with the queen, wouldn't we? Yeah, so if we pushed on. Pushed on to the knight with the pawn. And say he doesn't, say he decides to go this way. Yep, yeah, so the knight's gone now. Here, no, we don't. We come here, come there. I think we're probably safer just moving the queen out of the way somewhere. This knight's going to be coming here attacking the bishop. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. But it's not as clear now, is it? It's not as clear. And he's going to have like a two on one on this pawn. If his knight gets to here, he gets to take it off, looks there. If I bring my, well, I can't bring my queen there. 
Du, 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 du. Ah, interesting situation from them doing nothing at all. Hmm. Come here, knight. Uh, knight comes for the bishop. Bishop can't move. Rook comes up to support. Knight takes anyway. Mm, yeah, rook takes. Rook takes. Pawn takes. Queen takes. Oh, so there's a whole heap of stuff that they're going to gather from that one manoeuvre type thing. Interesting times. I need to move the queen. There's no point doing any of that. If I come here, it negates the knight jumping here because the queen's going to take. So, like we said, the can just do that again. So I'm going to move the queen here and see what happens. Because they're going for... It feels like a cheap manoeuvre. It's I can see it. And it is possible. And there's not much effort needed to do that type of thing. But at the end of the day, if you don't see it, I don't think they're doing this either because we've covered all of this aspect of the queen taking and all that. So I think this is coming here, the rook is coming again. And then if we bounce back, then they do something a bit different because they don't want to draw. So it's a little sleeping tiger, this one stealthily found some type of position that seems okay for them those are the nightmare ones you know where you see that they're not, they don't look like they're doing anything they're not working the pieces together and they're not over, they're not overextending then they're, they're not basically doing anything you know and then suddenly you find that whoa well i can't actually do stuff so you have to be very careful this is why i haven't overextended myself because um, at the end of the day, I was hoping that they didn't know how to work their pieces together um, and didn't know how to basically, you know, play the game. So, yeah, so he's going. So we'll come here. And they'll do something different because they're not going to go for a draw. They're going to want to do something extravagant too. Yeah, let's just go here. And then the magic comes in. No, he's, going, he's not going for a draw. He's gone for a draw. Okay. Threefold repetition. I'll wear it, you know, at the end of the day. I couldn't see anything through. Couldn't see any way through. There probably was. Gonna have a look at the analysis on this one. And but other than that, fairly comfortable with my reading of the sort of character of the player in that they didn't look too confident about working their pieces together. We took advantage of the initiatives, um, but then they slowly came back and kind of closed down any areas that I was potentially looking at taking advantage of. I'm going to look at the analysis, but before I do that, it's for me to just say, well, even in a situation like this, where yes, you're reading the character, if you want to go outside of that and go, well, definitely, yeah, they don't know how to play the game and they don't know how to work the pieces together, so I'm going to explode all over them. And then you find that you've lost the game because you have overextended and you haven't read what the opponent has done during the game, then that's probably an area of development that you probably need to focus on. So when I'm talking and I'm saying, oh, well, the opponent maybe could have done this and should have done that, it's more a case of I'm learning how to react to that player. And if I can get a draw out of that position or I get a win out of that position, then that's fine. But in situations like this where it doesn't seem clear to me there's no point in over-regging it 
I was expecting them to do something different with the movements, you know, like maybe another night move. But they stuck to character in terms of, well, they didn't really know how to work their pieces together. I couldn't find a way in, but that helped us get a draw. Let's have a look at the analysis. And what's it saying? Uh, it's not moving, is it? Oh, it's because it's finished. Uh, let's go. Go back a few. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Just um, yeah. So we're winning here, and we obviously must have done something wrong. The knight comes and attacks. Rook goes across. It's showing that we're winning. Knight f1. Ah, uh, you know, I thought it was a knight situation didn't I you know getting the knight involved but I couldn't really see it I was looking more at this and then looking to challenge here but then we would have had to push this pawn to get that up there so it was a knight move knight f1 does that get into here somehow then mm. that same bishop f8 this, this player is not finding that he's looking to squish my king. So if we'd have gone down here, queen, sorry. He won't take because the queen's going to take. It's not going to come here because the queen will take. We're assuming he's potentially going to go back. Queen takes C6. Interesting times. Because we get like a rook and a bishop or whatever. Queen takes. Yeah, we'd get three pieces actually. We would get three pieces. So it's saying take e4 here, isn't it? Yeah, that won't be too bad, would it? Obviously, you can take a pawn here, can't it? If he wants to do that. But we're out and out winning there. So it was a night move. It was all sort of locked down in that sense. Okay, so we went here, then we went up again, and we're winning again. Queen c4, where's c4? Oh, back to where we went. Yeah. Yeah, so we, so we, we were winning. We gained advantages in the game, but we just didn't see a way through. And yeah, this poor knight just needed to get in the game a bit somehow. I won't lose any sleep over that. I'm happy I read the situation and we didn't come out disadvantaged in that game. Excellent.